All right, so tonight's job was getting all that crap off of off of there. I don't need to do that door because I'm replacing it and the front there doesn't have any. But nice cheap ass paint job. I mean, I'll show you what I use. But once again, it's just flaking off because it wasn't done right probably. So, I used a few things. Um, what I used the most was Goo Gone and plastic razor blades. And a lot of time and a lot of elbow grease. Uh, I probably spent two and a half hours out here today. I had already gotten most of that off. Um, I tried this goof off it took it off took it off right away but it also started stripping the paint right off as well so i decided not to use that and then this is the door that i got so i got that done uh as well so actually i bought uh one of those i don't know horses or workstations or whatever they want to call them at Harbor Freight for 20 bucks and put it up there and it was nice because I could stand and do it. I could put the stuff on and I could let it sit on there but it was it was just patience and time. Um, yeah. So that was a success. So that was today's job. And I don't know what tomorrow's job will be. We'll see. All right, so today's job is going to be getting the mirrors off. So this is my bad door. So I'm going to practice on getting this off. Now, I'm thinking that is a different door. So I don't know if that mirror is going to be the same as this one. Because that might be from a little bit later of a car. Um, but we're going to go ahead and just practice on this one and go ahead and get this off and see how we do. All right. Well, that one came out fine. Didn't have a problem with that bolt. So, yep, they stripped that other one. So we'll just wait and see. If I need to deal with it, I'll deal with it. But if I don't, I won't. I mean, there's no point in me dealing with it. So now I gotta get that mirror off of this one. So we'll work on that one. So as suspected, this mirror is different. Um, so it's a, it's a newer mirror and a newer motor and everything. So, um, just a little different how you got to get it off instead of there being little tabs on the back this thing turns so you got to crank this side to side to uh, unlatch it from these posts I'm assuming that's what it is and that's how it secures in there so it was different but this bolt is loose so I know that so now I can get this off get that off depin it again and uh, get that mirror off. And that'll be the mirrors off the doors. All right, second mirror off. Not a big deal. Probably took me, I don't know, maybe 20 minutes for each mirror. Something like that. So really not that big of a deal. Uh, as long as that bolt wasn't stripped, you know. So... I don't know, maybe I'll work on that other one, just see if I can get it out, see what I can do. But if I do, I'll need a, another bolt, but I did want to compare the old, old one to the new one, so I'm going to grab that real quick. Alright, so I just wanted to quickly show the difference between new and old style mirrors. So this is uh, the old style. The casings look the same. Um, but the mirrors are different. So here, you can see the heating element actually in the mirror. 
So these little prongs, they go into these holes. There's one here, one here, and then there's one under the tape there. Um, so that's what the old mirrors look like. And then you can see the motor here for it. And then here's the new one. So here's the back of that mirror, and this is how it attaches. You can see how that moves. And that's what you need to that's what you need to do in order to move it. And then the motor, I'm assuming, is in here now for it, but you don't see the heating element on that. So I don't know. Depth and everything look about the same. They are different though, you can tell. See if I set them up on their sides. It's just a different design. It's a little deeper, but that's the difference. Well, I got it off. A little bit of damage to it, but that hole won't show. In this, we can sand down. But I end up having to try to drill it. And then I couldn't get to this side because of the mirror. So, boy, it took me three times as long to get this mirror off as it did to do everything else. So, but it's off at least. So that's good. Okay, so today's job is we're going to try to fix the front valance, those cracks and everything. So I'll pull that out. Get my pressure washer out and I'll wash it off too. And uh, take a crack at, at cleaning that up and using one of my new tools. If I can find it, wherever it went. Did I put it in here? There it is. So we're going to try using this stuff today. Why not, right? So we'll see how it goes. All right, so I got it power washed. I actually went ahead and just power washed the bumpers too since I had it out and everything. It's getting ready to storm. Uh, not much in the way of directions for this thing, so I guess it'll be trial and error. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to use these first and stick them in like that. So I think that's going to be the goal, and I guess you just get it just flush. And we'll see how it goes. I'll keep you informed. All right, so I put the first one in, and I think what it was is I left it too long, and it, it melted so far away that it didn't hold. So I got another one in there now, letting that kind of sit and get in there. I don't know how hard to push, but that seems to be holding in there. No, look at that. See, so not exactly sure. I guess maybe I got to push a little harder, get it down in there and get it to cover it. We'll try that. Told you it was getting ready to storm. <laughs> All right, so these ones are in there pretty good. This one's a little loose. Um, but I think what I'll do also when I mix this stuff up, I might just put a little bit over these just to kind of keep them in there as well because I want to I want to epoxy this part right here as well. Um, so we'll just do the same thing here for this here and this here. All right, it worked okay. I mean, the parts that are flat, I mean, it's in there and that's solid. But like this one, because it was just under so much stress, it just couldn't hold. I put a couple there. I tried putting one in the corner. It didn't work. So I'll work with epoxy on that, and I'll have to epoxy this. But yeah, it was just there was just too much pressure once I once I released it. So um, not much. I, there's nothing I can do about that. But the rest of them are are pretty solid. So I think that the trick is, I mean, if there's any kind of pressure on it, it's just not enough to hold. Um, but if they're flat, you can you can go ahead and get them in. So I'm gonna say that's an eight out of 10. 
because of that. All right, we're gonna see how this goes. So I used the Dremel just a little bit, kind of dug that out a little bit, and I'm gonna try to put some of this epoxy in there and see how that does. Um, so then I cleaned it up with some degreaser, try to get it as clean as I can, and we'll put it in there and see what happens. All right, well, we got them all done. I just threw some on the, some of the bolt heads. I don't know, that probably won't hold, but it's on there. It's not pretty, and I'll be able to sand it down when I go to prep it. And, yeah, so that part is done. Well, you may have seen it in the, the last video, but I did get a new toy. Uh, so we're going to see how this works on the dents here and the ones in back. I still have to uh, <coughs> clean that back off, um, but we'll see how that works. All right, today's job is going to be getting this battery tray sorted out. I've been avoiding this, but I can't avoid it any longer. <clears throat> I've kept trying to cut out pieces, try to get them to match, get them to do different things, and I just, I can't do it to weld it. So what I am going to do, got a smaller piece, of, or a thinner piece of metal that I am going to get in here. And I am going to rivet that down. And then I'll get a piece for here. I might actually do that from the back. Rivet that down. And flex paste it. And flex seal it. And be done with it. I have no doubt that that will hold. So that is today's job is to get that done. All right. So I think that's going to work for... The metal, all the holes will just be filled in with the paste and everything, so I'm not worried about that. Um, so what I'll do is I'll drill the holes, I'll flex tape around the bottom, then put the rivets in and seal up the bottom and then seal the top. Okay, so... That is all now sealed up. Doesn't look real pretty, but I am going to put some of that liquid flex seal down in here and coat everything in it just to seal that as well. And that way, uh, hopefully it won't rust through anymore because I got the rust out and I treated it and then I primed it. So I'll put that on and once that dries, and then when I paint the car, I think I'll just paint the, the box. Although it is a different color. I think I have chosen my color, but you'll have to wait and see. So, but uh, pretty happy with that repair. I don't think that is going to leak at all. I mean, there's a lot of flex seal, flex paste on that. And then once I pour the, the liquid over the top of that, that should fill in any gaps, if there are any even. So, um, pretty happy with that. Okay, so I actually just read the directions again. Uh, it says 48, 24 to 48 hours for the second coat. So I think I'll just wait until tomorrow or, or the next day to do it. Um, I don't know. I'm going to go have some dinner and maybe I'll get the seats out clean out the inside of the car today and then uh, tomorrow I think I'm gonna get this fender off and uh, spin the car that flex seal stuff just gets everywhere you gotta be careful with it and I had gloves on but of course my glove broke with the finger that I was using to spread. So now it's now it's all over my hands too. But um, yeah, I I think this Flex Seal stuff, I'm really hoping that it works really well. 
I'll let everybody know if I have any problems with it, but it seems to me like it's a perfect product for this because it's rubber. It shouldn't, you know, it, it should last a while too. So we should be good to go. All right, so we got the car turned around. I'll get this fender off and then we'll be able to work on that tomorrow. Bonus, bonus. Well, it is a beautiful Friday. No humidity. It's not real hot. Car is turned. Office closed early for the 4th of July weekend. So I am now out and we're going to work on welding these pieces in here. And get that done. And then the welding will be done. And we'll go get some Bondo and we'll, or we'll start pulling out these dents maybe. We'll do that. Um, and work on that uh, this evening, this afternoon and this evening. All right, so all those pieces are welded in there. Um, it's not real pretty, um, but there were some gaps. So what I actually did was I put some flex seal uh, in the gaps and then uh, I'm gonna go ahead and undercoat it once that stuff all dries. All right, we're gonna try the stud welder. So I had to turn the car in the garage to get it because I don't have a uh, 10 gauge extension cord. I got a 12 gauge, but it says I need at least a 10. Um, so we'll see what we can do. Hopefully it works. All right, well, it got them on there. We'll see if they'll stay on there as I try to pull this dent out a little bit, but they're on there, so that's the first part. All right, that worked really, really well. I mean, there's still a little bit of a dent. I mean, it's gotta be bondoed anyway, but not nearly as bad. So I got a little one here that I'm gonna get out right here. And then I'm going to work on this bigger one. This one's a lot bigger. Such a crappy job. That's just so upsetting that they did such a bad job with it. But that worked really well. So what I did was I kind of started from the outside. I guess a little divot right there. But I started from the outside and then worked my way in when I was pulling them out. So that, uh, that worked really, really well. All right, I don't know if you can tell, but that dent is gone. Do it the right way, right? Now I gotta work on this one. This one's pretty deep here. Pretty long too. It starts like here and goes all the way to here. But, yep. It's just amazing how well that worked. So. I'm happy with it so far. All right, so now I don't know if you can really see it all that well, but it's gone. It is amazing. So I, I think that's a really good thing. The only thing is some of them came off. Some of the bottoms of the studs stayed on there. So I, I would have liked to have had them come off, but I think what it is is the ones that I had and I pushed the button for a little bit longer. And I mean, I'm only talking a half a second or a second is all I push the button. But it seems like the bigger ones are the ones that stayed behind. So I think you got to be really quick with the trigger. Otherwise, these stay behind and they're going to have to be ground down. That's my, only, that's my only complaint. But even like the real small ones, here's one that stayed on. But I, I wish they all would have just popped off like these. It would make life a lot easier. But I mean, that whole dent is gone a little bit right there but it's it's gonna be hard to get that out because it's right on that crease so uh, really really happy with it all right so we tried pulling this out but it's just got that crease in there so it's gonna be that was really kind of hard to pull it out so I did pull some of it out um, but it's just that's gonna need to be just filled there's nothing I can really do about that this it almost it was circular, so it looks like they had something round here, and they tightened it down, and it creased the metal. I don't know. So 
this dent is gone. It's a little bumpy, but that's, you know, uh, that'll be filled with a little Bondo and that'll be fine. And then I got these little ones over here, but I ran into three little problems. If you look, that, here, here, and here. So four little problems. So it actually burned through and made a hole. So I don't know if that metal was just really thin right there. You know, maybe it's rusting on the inside. I can't get to it, so there's no way for me to tell. Uh, but I figure that'll just fill in with the, the Bondo that I'm going to be putting over it anyway. Um, but yeah, so that big dent is now gone. I don't know if you can see, but it's not there anymore. So that came out really good. Um, put a lot of studs in it, you know, so I worked very little areas. Um, it worked. It worked like a charm. It was. I was. Uh, I was really impressed with how easy that was, and and you know, just right tools for the job make the world a difference. I guess so. Happy days. Okay, so I went and bought some new toys again. So we got some body work to do um, on this front. You know, it's it's all bumpy. So I'm going to try to flatten out. You know, it's it's got high spots where I was pulling. Um, so I'm going to try to work on that a little bit. Um, and then I got my Bondo, so my body filler. So, one of the things that I needed to do still was take off my badge. So all I did, just got a little dental floss, got in behind there, and just kind of wiggled it back and forth, and it came right off. So, it's just glue. It's not, it's not the rubbery stuff like what holds on the door. I don't know, maybe it was originally. And when they resprayed the car, that's all they put on was this glue. But this was really easy to get off. And you can see it's just kind of flaking off. So it's not even on there real good. So, success on that part. And we'll start getting the body ready for some filler. I need a little there. I need some there. Down here. Down here down here a little there and then the front wing so we'll work on this today uh -huh. 